Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we caught up with Colin and Allison Ford at our September Hiker Trailer East event. They have a very unique mid-range hiker. Colin did a great job of doing some DIY and modifications to it. So I hope you enjoyed as much as we did. If you do, smash that like button, consider subscribing. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> so it's got the caveats and that and yes like Matt we put that uh, front shelf in and we store all our clothes in those little uh, boxes just roll them up t-shirts shorts underwear everything cool. there but also just have a little bit of space at the end of the mattress for storing stuff like towels wet gear yeah, stuff like that so you yeah, can see and that fine, we so found it working real well for it's us it's not a memory foam mal mattress it's a mallard try it's a full and that gives some room down the side for like water bottles phones magazines stuff like that so that's basically the inside <coughs> uh, put our own box on here um, uh, this is a, a new thing that is uh, I knocked together from a uh, pop-up canopy add-on tent uh, cut a door that sort of sits onto the hiker door the rain lift and it's uh, the en suite and we have a little uh, loop <laughs> that we, we ship around in here but it's <coughs> you can get you can look inside there uh, it's got an entry on the side but it also like hooks onto the thing so she really likes that <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the big changes from last year and um, the other big thing is the awning this is a very uh, budget friendly awning it's a guana <laughs> it's under 400 bucks with shipping and uh, wow. and you know we used to mess and fiddle fart around with fly sheets and, <laughs> and rods and stuff but you know this actually uh, worked out well mounting it for us was a problem though because we'd already got the 200 watt solar panels on the top and then we had this uh, cargo box shifted over to clear the solar panels for our clam we've got a pop-up clam if it's buggy or rainy so that stores in here. And so it was one of those things trying to get the access for both, you know. So it's tall enough for me and <laughs> you can still access the bin. So <clears throat> that's cool. But we're really pleased with that. And uh, this was the tip from uh, Hikey East last year about <laughs> yeah. how to stop it. We were in a storm and we didn't do that a couple of weeks ago and we did lose one. Uh, one pole, but uh, it stood up to everything. Another change from last year, I added brakes. Uh, certainly love that. Um, that That's just, it takes the load off the car. The car, and that's a, you know, I'm not towing with a big truck, but uh, that's got a um, 3,000 pound tow rating, but, you know, you've got to have brakes for that. Not that this is that heavy, but it takes the load off your vehicle. Um, one disappointment was with the car because people were asking about Subaru is we actually got the factory hitch put on this one but even with a 3000 tow rating they only put a four pin mm -hmm. connector so you know so I actually uh, put a separate 12 volt uh, through and this is actually using the auto brake so I don't have a controller or anything inside I've got a key fob I can if there's sway or anything but very pleased with that um, other changes uh, from last year is uh, my, I have already had my wine box um, uh, slide here, but we added what we call the dishwasher. Oh, so this is perfect. <laughs> where all our dirty stuff goes until we take it out and, and wash it. But um, uh, we'd already put in the Dometic. This is a tight squeeze for anyone with a two foot deep, um, two foot deep galley. This is a real tight squeeze, but it's doable. This is the smallest Dometic. It's a 28CX, I think it is, but very pleased with that. Um, for our trips, we've never maxed this out, even though we put a, maybe four frozen water bottles in, and you know, it's actually a problem because we, we run it above freezing, but we actually have to thaw our meat in the evening and stuff like that. <laughs> very pleased with that. What we do for storage here is, I think Matt saw last year, we have a, a, um, a piece of wood here that's got cutouts for everything. So there's, if anyone wants to top up their coffee, there's hot coffee here. But everything has its place and you can see cutouts here for the Weber. The Weber just sits in there, but everything is solid there. Everything is a tight fit 
so nothing shifts about when when driving. So, um, any questions so far? I didn't set up the shower. I can do that. I'll do that later. Okay, that's fine. How did your uh, solar keep up with that freezer? Do you, uh, you have any issues? Absolutely none. In fact, we're not hooked up. In fact, look at my extension lead. I think we've used it once. Um, we tried hooking up last night and found it didn't work, or well, we couldn't make it work because we were going to put some little fancy lights up on the trees. But... All right, what do you got going on? Okay, these are these fiberglass poles from the kiddies' um, safety flags that attach to bikes. You can see what it looks like out of out of stock. Oh, sure. These attach to the bike, and there's a bright fluorescent flag at the top. Yep. So I've got three of those. I've got something that just goes into the hiker trailer, hiker trailer mm. thing that holds the fiberglass and then just bow it round to this piece of plastic here Okay. that the three go into. This is just mocking up. We don't know how tall to, to make it, bend it and put a peg in or something. Sure. And then we just found these little clips and that sort of clip to it and uh, there's plenty of room in here. Yep. Wow, nice. So that's a little bit of privacy for the for the shower. Yep. Uh, we also might make it shorter and hang it the other way. Okay. But there was too much stuff on the ground the other way. But. Nice. I like it. So where'd you get the material from? Oh, those those are just off eBay. They just okay. uh, what are they? It must be um, five by ten, I think. Okay. Just Chinese fly. <clears throat> yeah, definitely made in China. Yeah. yeah, if you look here, I'll just show that it, it twists and then comes up. So I've got the I've got the awning strap in the way there, but it just comes out. So it's, oh yeah, perfect. It just yep. goes in perfect. and turns. Just the side. Wow, <laughs> it's ingenious. <laughs> that looks like it's going to work really well. Yeah, there's the material they used. Nice. You're all set. You just need your put your. You're gonna put the brown tank yep, here. Yep. Yep. With sit the it on the water port, and then the, the hose can just hang over, and you're good to go. Nice. Options. Perfect. Like having options. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing me that. So I bought a replacement cap. Okay. So check this out. Look at that. So this is replacement cap. Just a little, little pump. Just a little pump. Yep. It goes in. Just it doesn't have to be screwed on. And what we've got down here above the solar is another 12 volt. Oh yeah. So I've just got a 12 volt there. And then got a little switch here. Oh my goodness. Now it's good enough to wet you down. Oh sure. Oh plenty. Then just switch it off, wash yourself and then rinse. So oh can rinse. That is ingenious. Very you cool. see we've also got this. <laughs> this was the first switch, but oh, Allison sure. found that a bit hard to do. So, sure, sure. so I did this one here. Huh. That is so cool. Oops. We're just working on that high shower enclosure now, so. Okay. That'll be probably next time. Oh, um, then you use those straps to keep the water in place. Okay. Oh. So we just do it, and then these two are the final ones that tighten, sure. tighten both of them up. Nice. So these go through the front three-quarter inch plywood with T-nuts on the back, so these are not going anywhere. Okay, nice. And you got them on. You have just about four of them then? Sorry? What do you use for seal? Um, uh, silicon sealant behind the pad. Just. So you just bought four of them? You got two on each no, side? six. Oh, six, okay. Yes, because it loops around here. Ah, okay. okay. So it comes so around So it just goes in there, around there, around there. 
and run and back. back. Okay, very cool. Very nice, very secure. It's a great idea. So look what he made. We've got right here in the front, we got the travel edition hiker. This middle one is the mid range. It's got everything, doors, fenders, wheels, the rear galley, the whole works. And then you've got the off-road. Very, very cool. Everybody who came to the event got one of these. He's got these little clear white ones. And these have a little hook here and can be hooked on your Revel lights. I'll show you what I mean. So just like that, you can hook it on your Revel lights and it illuminates. So what did you think? What's one of your favorite modifications or DIYs that Colin did to his trailer? Let's talk about it down below in the discussion. Consider smashing that like button. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Make sure you get out and do some camping.